so MetaZoo, a lot of interesting things are happening with MetaZoo. And basically, what I would, op my opinion is it was started as a get rich quick scheme, a, a scam, but then it did really, really well. And the two individuals that started it, Andy and Mike, didn't really know what to do. So they actually had a legitimate fan base and a card game by mistake. Sometimes this stuff happens. They did it at the right time. Uh, and they basically lucked into it. It wasn't because of skill or any of this stuff. They found the audience who defended it to the core. If you are interested, you can watch my own MetaZoo videos, which are a year or two old. I've been very critical of this game. And they always talk about video games and IP and all this really, really great stuff, which is non-existent, right? Non-existent. It does not exist, right? In fact, let me see how old my MetaZoo videos really are. Let's take a look. Contains MetaZoo. And let's take a look at the date. My first MetaZoo video was July 19th, 2021. And then September 4th, 2021. September 6th. September 19th. So basically 2021. And... Oh, those are actually all privated. I don't know why. But uh, for the most part, my main takeaway was this is not a good investment. And Alpha Investments was pumping it. And obviously, this has gained a lot of traction to the time. Oh, this is the set that Alpha Investment told you to invest in at $100 plus. Dollars. It was called Native. And uh, yeah, it's lost about half of the money since that time. So, good investment, right? I know the S&P 500 is uh, making more and more money as we speak. Record-breaking numbers, right? All-time highs, unlike most of this uh, MetaZoo product. But back to, you know, back to uh, my main criticism on MetaZoo. It should be relatively obvious, right? I think it was meant to be a rug pull from the very get-go. And then they made the game... It was successful beyond what they could imagine. And then, but they still had these tendencies, a rug pull, right? They still had the tendon. They didn't know how to run a card game. They never actually expected to run a legitimate card game. And that's why you see all the weird stuff, the pre-orders not being, all this stuff that like, if you truly had a card game that was working, had a good fan base, did have collector cons and, I mean, why would you just burn it to the ground? Unless, like, that was... Unless, like, you couldn't operate it and you got tired of it. You didn't really love it, as, you know, I think a lot of people say, Oh, Mike loves cryptids. He loves it. Did he? Is there any evidence he's been to any of these conventions before? Is he, like, at that dude in a, in a Bigfoot convention or in a moth man? Is he in an Amazon documentary? No, he's not one of those guys. I've listened to his interview on... with alpha investments and it's clear to me it's he's like a crypto bro uh and obviously surprising no one they also tried to get into nfts at the time so you have a game where i think they locked into something really big and they just couldn't capitalize on, on it because they kept thinking rug pull and everything they've done from pre-orders to streamer kits like imagine imagine this guys Streamer kits for these influencers, these people who want to stream the box opening, and you you don't deliver them. What the heck are you doing? They're basically advertising for free. For zero dollars, they're paying you for the product. I would get these people the product ASAP because it would help blow up my brand right the more streamer kits that are open the more people know about me and and this is great even to the point where they have so many rudy promos i've never seen that in a game rudy is not a player he's not a champion he's not you know i don't even know if he's ever played a game of metazoo he doesn't know the value of these cars he's an investor so to put the investor 
at the top of the pyramid chain kind of tells you who Mike and Andy really are. And then you have the situation with the artist. That thing just creeps me out. I'm not going to lie. Um, that thing is beyond creepy. And, and you, you, there are many <laughs> organizations, large organizations, Fortune 500 companies. If the CEO is dating uh, an intern or somebody at a different department, they have to fill up paperwork. They have there's a lot of loopholes. There's a lot of things, and there's no favorism. The reason this company has gone to zero is they favor. They favored the gold medal winners, Argos, Anonymous, right? Selling his Hello Kitty for 120 with a promo, worthless. They favored this dude. I mean, he literally have so many promos of this guy, and, and I just don't understand why. Like, th can you name me one other card game? There's one other card game with so many promos. Richard Garfield, I think he has one promo and it's like the second son maybe he has like two promos his marriage and the second son but magic's been around for 30 years he doesn't have secret lairs to richard garfield secret lair or, or or this or that i mean i i mean even chris cox doesn't have a promo of himself right for all the bad things that rudy says chris cox is cynthia williams doesn't have a promo for herself right they could easily do that they're the ceo of hasbro and wizard of ghosts but they know better. So it, you have a game. And I go back to Argos, right? Argos has a promo of himself in some other random game I've never heard of. Like, how desperate do you have to be as a card game that the promo isn't of a player, isn't the world champion? Even Autumn Buccelli doesn't have a pro promo of herself. And they, they love Art Autumn. I... Just got very bad vibes, and I have videos. I have videos from 2021 showing that these vibes were correct, and I was correct, and I wasn't wrong about this. I have videos from 2022. I have videos from 2023, and I have videos from 2024. I've been talking about MetaZoo because it just doesn't feel right. And the reason it doesn't feel right is the guy sitting in front of you. I cannot imagine a game where you have pre-orders when you can't pay the players. And, you know, I mean, this is, um, this is so bizarre that the game, I mean, Richard Garfield, I mean, the Nintendo Pokemon, who the blank, like, has that many cards of an investor in their game. Does One Piece have any? I, I mean, I, I don't know. I don't. I play, Digimon. These are. I mean, what, what's going on? Nom nom. Nom is going to have a ten million Rumi Rudy Probos. Damn. 